Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Abdi for ASR 3D and Motion Graphics. And today I would like to show you how you can bring your Phoenix FD setup right into Vantage and simulate it in real time. So for that, just let me create something we can work with, which I could have done before recording this tutorial. But I decided to do that right now with you guys so you can see that there is no magic tricks or something behind the scenes. So bear with me and we will be there just in a second. So the method I'm going to show you will render all sorts of liquid simulations which are not requiring foam or splashes. Because foam and splashes won't work in Vantage no matter what we do. So it wasn't possible to me at least to bring it to that point. But everything else like just the simple water flow or chocolate or something like that will really work fine. And you're going to see your setup in its whole glory with all the reflections, materials and everything that you know the advantage is capable to show you. So just give me one second and we will be there so this is not going to be the best modeling promise but still something that we can work with for this small tutorial it's going to be a short one so it's not going to waste your time too much but it should be a really good and powerful method for liquid simulations in real time so let me go here and then change my anchor point just to the center. Add a light to that and then weld it. That's okay. And here we can do some simple changes here to that glass. So you get it down maybe something like this. And this is going to be too big right now, but I'm going to change it to about 15 centimeters or something. Right now it is 200 or whatever. We measure that as 300 centimeters. So let me bring that down real quick to some around 15, I guess, is the normal height of a wine glass. So some around. 15 centimeters should do the job. So I go to reset my X form and just collapse them all. Then we're going to add another true smooth on it. And that should be good enough to work with. So this is the glass. Now let me create an emitter. Let me just rename that thing. It's called glass. And for my emitter, I'm going to create a cylinder like that and center that guy. Bring it up here, give it some rotation. And go and change the polygon ID. So edit poly and select that face, set this to number one and then control I, invert the selection and set that to number two. So right click and object properties make it not renderable so it is not affecting the shadows and reflections and everything so we don't see that in our scene actually we don't need it to be visible. Now I need my liquid source. I'm going to add the emitter to that and select the polygon ID number one. And then I need the grid. Let's create that. Make that thing a little bit taller. So Set that to center as well. And I'm going to leave 
just rest as default but bring up the amount to around 10 million particles this should actually do the job and for steps per frame we're gonna set it to 12 form and splashes where we cannot go and render those things but if you need them you can turn them off uh, turn it on sorry and then render them out separately and merge them together in post-production this is for now the only way to get your form and splashes shown but in Vantage these two things they won't work in your output settings I'm gonna just set that to 5 just in case and select a folder for my cache so it's test liquid test and call it test so everything else is okay and in the preview this is important that you turn on show mesh but we don't need RGB or particle preview and render settings I'm setting the ISO surface level to 0.63 and smoothness to 5 use liquid particles set that to 0.45 or something so the most important thing as I said is really show mesh that thing must be on otherwise it won't work so with that set let me see this is in 50 that should actually work and let's just run the simulation and see what happens so that works so while that is working let me just go and quickly create a small scene so it is not just that simple glass staying there so 150 and the guy is 150 as well go and center this UV map tiling 10 by 10 and I'm gonna just add a material from weary material library right click add to object and select my glass go to glass material and just add this one to it so that should be good enough now let me go and create a camera and then center my camera here the target should be just right in the center as well and set that to 10 centimeters and 10 centimeters both maybe we can move them down a little bit and zoom in so we do not see the emitter up there so the next thing I need is just the room for this I'm gonna create a sphere as big as I as my floor here and center it add a shell modifier to this and right click object properties I'm gonna turn off cast shadows because I'm gonna use a dome light and when I use a dome light and I'm casting shadows I'm gonna end up having a dark room inside of my Vantage preview so shift F just for save frame then I'm gonna bring up the editor and add a simple V-ray material to this room sign it to that select the camera DOF set the film gate to about 25 maybe and the next thing I have to do is setting up my exposure in the environment settings so effect and environment exposure control V-ray exposure control set the mode to camera and select the V-ray camera and just be aware that that thing accepts 
V-Ray camera only. So you can't go and create the physical camera, just uh, the 3ds Max physical camera. That won't work here. So it must be a V-Ray camera. So you go actually here, create, and then you go to cameras, V-Ray, V-Ray physical camera. This is what you have to, to create. So otherwise, it won't accept it. But now I can go and set the F numbers to 3 and set that guy to about 900 or something. And this is actually it for the light and exposure settings. In the render setup, I have to change it to GPU and in the prep section, just turn on distributed rendering. And make sure that the, the view to render is locked to the camera view. So when you change it to front, top, or left view, it won't just change it in in Vantage. Now let me run Vantage. And then go to Edit, Preferences, UI, make sure Windows always on top is turned on and in render defaults just turn off enable motion blur just because I never got a good result out of it with motion blur on so this is why I'm turning that thing off and now I can go and start interactive rendering and this will show me the scene right in Vantage and as you see liquid and the Phoenix setup is just not visible here. But what you can do to make it happen is just add edit mesh and immediately you're gonna see that. And that gives you huge benefits because you can now go to the material editor, add some liquid materials to your Phoenix FD and you see that immediately what's going on can change the colors and it all works in real time so this is really cool and pretty time saver so that is how you can bring your Phoenix FD setup just right into Vantage what you should be aware of is if you're going and sending your VR scene right into Vantage, that will break this setup. So it won't work if you do that and you're gonna end up with a scene without your Phoenix FD setup. So it will be an empty glass again. So what works is when you go and render that via the live link, which is this small button here. So if you click on that, it gives you the dialog window where you can select your camera, set your range, what you want to have, and output settings. You have a bunch of two to select from. And here, the most important things are samples. That value will affect your render quality, as well as your render time, of course. The higher you go, the longer it takes. But 500 is something for a scene like this, this is really good enough, especially if you're just sending a preview to your client or something, that works really well. And again, just motion blue, make sure it is turned off, set the file type you need, so you have the PNG without alpha, PNG with alpha channels, or EXR if you need that, and JPEG, so in this case, PNG without alpha, will work and do the job for me and this is what I need to make it happen that it will render the Phoenix FD as well so this will work much faster than the normal rendering in Max so if I go and render this it will take some around I think about 20-25 seconds maybe per frame where 3ds Max would take some around 3 minutes up to five minutes best case at least to render one frame out so it is much faster we can do that right now we can stop the liquid simulation 
we have some around 60 frames so let me change it to 0 to 60 and when I hit start you're gonna see that it will render the Phoenix FD as well just give it a couple seconds so 9 10 11 well less than 15 seconds it renders actually just per frame so now you see your liquid is coming in and it will go and render these out for you and again foam and splashes those things are not supported but anything else which is not requiring foam or splashes will work fine you can do chocolate you can do honey well honey without bubbles okay so because those bubbles won't get rendered here but just all sorts of liquid simulations which can work and do not require any foam or splashes will just work fine here i hope this is helpful and useful to you guys if so just let me know in the comment sections below and i wish you a nice day keep on creating bye bye